Hello, my name is Joy. I'm glad you made it to another Human Race Club meeting. It hasn't started yet, so if you hurry into the treehouse, you won't miss anything. Everybody, it's time to start the meeting. I'm waiting. Finally. Now, do any of you have anything you want to talk about at the meeting today? I do. What is it? I got this thing in the mail. It's a free offer for this huge ice chest. I figured we could use a core for our club outings. What's the catch? What do you mean? I mean, what do we have to do to get the ice chest? Nothing! It's free! Here, let me see that thing. Casey's right. Says right here, free ice chest. Hmm, so it does. Wonderful. I can think of several times when a cooler would have come in handy. Remember that time when we had it? Before we get carried away with this thing and get our hopes up, I think we better read that flyer carefully. Oh, Teddy, don't be such a deadbeat. Could it be that you're not enthusiastic about this because it wasn't your idea? Don't be ridiculous, Maggie. It's just that I've learned... We know, we know. Nothing in life is free. For Pete's sake, Teddy. Ever since that Jeff Cassidy thing, you've said that a hundred times. Quite frankly, I'm getting tired of hearing it. Of course I realize that. Hmm. Come to think of it, Teddy does make that comment a lot. And just as AJ said, I think it's because of an experience he had with Jeff Cassidy. This is what happened. Jeff, whose skateboard are you riding? Teddy called to a boy who had zoomed past him on a fantastic skateboard. The boy's name was Jeff Cassidy. Hey, whose skateboard do you think it is? Jeff asked with a tinge of pride in his voice. Teddy commented playfully. It couldn't be yours because you already have a great skateboard. True. My old board is great, but I wanted one that had a little more flexibility and... But of course. I would never expect you to be satisfied with anything but the very best. That's not true. Well, Jeff, old buddy, old pal, if you ever get tired of your old skateboard, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Teddy's teasing was beginning to annoy Jeff, and when Teddy realized this, he decided to lighten up. I'm sorry if I offended you, Jeff. It's just that you have so many neat things, and Just I... where do you think I get the neat things I have? Well, from your mom and dad, of course. Everyone knows they're rich. Jeff gave Teddy a steely look. Then, without saying another word, he rode off on his skateboard. The next day at school, Teddy was eating lunch with AJ when Jeff approached him. Teddy, I've been thinking about what you said yesterday, and I was wondering, how would you like to have some of the neat things I have? Teddy wasn't sure why Jeff would ask such a question, so he hesitated and then spoke with reservation. Well, anyone would want the neat things you have, Jeff. Well, Teddy, old buddy, old pal. It's time to share the wealth, and I've decided to share it with you. Can you come to my house Friday after school and stay until Monday morning? Oh, well, um... Say yes, you fool. Hello, 
this is Joy. For the ending to this video and for other videos like it, go to our website at joyberryenterprises.com.